In today's video, I'm going to show you how to shorten your backswing on your forehand for a faster setup. Let's begin. The first thing that you want to do is keep the non-hitting hand on the throat of the racket. And if you don't want to hold the throat, you just have to have this hand following close by. Now, we want to make sure that the racket stays in front of our hand and doesn't go behind the body until it's time to go later on in the swing. What you need to do is get a good elbow position in your ready position so we don't have to think about this when we're taking the racket back. All you want to feel like you do is you turn your shoulders and your torso and let the body move more than the racket. And this is how we're going to achieve swing efficiency. So when I turn as a unit, you'll notice that my shoulders, if I go back with my body, are basically in the same spot as the ready position. So this is how we want to feel. Now, another indicator that we've done a good job is keeping the racket on the outside of the body. This means that at no point during the swing is the racket going to pass behind our back pocket. We don't want to make a huge circle and have what I refer to as a reset or a wrapping behind our back. So we're going to pretend that there's a brick wall behind us and we're going to keep our racket in front of the brick wall to avoid busting our expensive pro staff. Now, from here, what we want to do is go with the body first and swing away from our body. The racket will automatically slot back but it needs to come as the last part of the kinetic chain. So we have to have a loose arm and we need to throw the body first in order for this to happen. Now, we also want our elbow to be up. We don't want to tuck it in because that's going to make it a little bit more claustrophobic and not be ideal for us when we uncoil into the ball. So you really want to make sure that you maintain this space from the ready position into the take back. And then when you go to the ball, it should be a lot easier to set up faster. Okay. Also get into the habit of trying to invert the racket and having it slightly hooded. This is probably the number one difference between the ATP forehand and the WTA forehand. Whereas WTA players, instead of keeping the racket close to the body, on the outside, when they get to here, they'll go like this and then uncoil with the racket and the body together and come up and over the non-hitting shoulder. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with this, but if you want to produce a faster ball, there is a better way. And that's keeping the racket on the outside, inverting it, putting it, going with your body, reducing the range of motion, having the strings fall flat and pat the dog instead of resetting it and looping it. And once our strings free fall to the ground, we go with the body and then the racket gets into the flashlight position, right? Scooby-Doo looking for monsters, but we don't want to skip steps and go like that. Okay. Because sure. Oh, look, I set up faster. I got into this position, but you also can't skip the essential steps for creating topspin power and racket head speed. So apply these principles for a faster setup and uh, I'll see you at Wimbledon. In any event, thanks for tuning in and use what you've learned to modernize your game. This lesson is courtesy of my best selling tennis books, Tennis Doctor, Modern Tennis Step by Step and The Tennis Bible. You can read them both on Amazon by clicking the link down below. If you would like to work with me one on one through private video analysis, you can hire me to review your strokes. The link is down below in the description. I also have a complete online course with my system that anybody of any level can apply to their game to quickly learn advanced level tennis. The link is down below in the description.